it's interesting to me that Alex Gurney or uh, AJ or myself can be uh, practicing at a race and there's a maybe a 50 year old plumber and a 15 year old kid who just got done doing his English homework in the same server racing with us and enjoying the same experience and uh, they're all just fans really wanting to know and to be able to get as close to the to the realism of driving a race car as possible and there's nothing really that catches it quite like i racing and um, their ability to laser scan racetracks means the racetracks are perfected to the uh, nearest centimeter. I mean, it's it's a, it's such an impressive thing to be able to see how close these racetracks truly are to the real thing. Um, Dave was um, <clears throat> instrumental and, and a huge part in bringing uh, the papyrus titles on the scene uh, several years ago, and that was basically the benchmark for simulation racing and for years, all the way up until um, he developed iRacing and, and brought that to the masses. And so there's been tons of people chomping at the bit to be able to get the opportunity to, to see this software and see the advances in technology. And trust me, the gap between where iRacing is and the nearest competitor is quite large. A lot of the guys that are winning races are names that are familiar to me over the last eight or ten years from racing online. I've now, I don't have a face to put with some of these guys, uh, but I do know the reputation. And uh, some of them I've actually been in touch with, whether we're swapping setups or talking about different tracks or whatever, for the last six to ten years. I've never met these guys. And we talk every week just about simulation racing and how to get faster. And uh, it's funny because there's a lot of new names come in and there's a lot of old names, and it's a community. It's really, it's a, it's a tight group, and uh, it's fun to have new people come in. It's fun to see some of the real racers that pop in there. Bobby Labonte, Steve Park, he races all the time. Uh, I mean, there's a ton of guys that are, Marcus Ambrose is adamant about it, and uh, it's a lot of fun to bring in uh, some new guys, and uh, they're actually race car drivers. Uh, I bought a computer for Jimmy, and we're going to go set it up in the next couple of weeks to get him involved in it because he wants. He says that a lot of the guys that he works with on the road course side in the 24 hours of Daytona race, the same that his teammates are actually racing on iRacing, and they swear by it as far as being a tool um, to learn from on road courses and such. And so he's really anxious to get behind the wheel and, and save some money on tires. You're a click away from joining a race, a practice, or whatever, and um, it, it can be a series like Mr. France once envisioned and there'll be a crown champion at the end of the year um, and a lot of fun to be had so I think it's exciting for everyone it's definitely exciting for me being on, on both sides of the fence as a consumer and and being a little bit of piece of the development um, it's quite amazing really how far we came in in, in, ten, in the last 10 years and uh, I'm really excited about this partnership, and, and I think that there, all, the, all the current subscribers are going to be thrilled, and uh, I can't wait to see how many new people we bring to, to the software and the service itself over uh, NASCAR's involvement.